words that describe Michael are brilliant, thoughtful, and humble. Michael has had, I think, a passion for kids in the Boston area since the day I've known him. Um, he was one of the original board members and, and founders of Horizons for Homeless Children, and Horizons deals with um, truly at-risk uh, children and their, and their families, and Michael has been passionate about the kids, passionate about um, the families, uh, passionate about making sure that there's a real impact and a long-term impact. Uh, he's just been an incredible um, supporter and, and leader. So I asked Michael um, whether he'd be willing to support Big Brothers Big Sisters uh, strategic growth plan and um, he asked me for a copy of the plan and uh, next thing I know he's back in my office with the plan all dog-eared and underlined and and highlighted with a ton of questions. I mean, Mike's all about kids, uh, underprivileged kids in Boston. Um, not surprised that this one grabbed hold of Mike. Uh, not surprised that he will help them with their strategy. That's one of the things he does very well. Um, not surprised he's probably up to this point done it very quietly. And so uh, this is right in Mike's wheelhouse. He'll do this very well. He's been familiar with our program for a long time and our program is a, f a very important ingredient in helping disadvantaged children in Boston. He understands the model, makes sense to him, and at the right time he stepped forward as part of our effort to do something much bigger with our business. I think Michael being a part of the growth of, of Big Brothers Big Sisters is, is really consistent with what I've seen him do. Um, you know, I think Big Brothers Big Sisters has um, proven that they're a very, very successful model, that they have a really positive impact um, you know, on the kids that, that they influence. And I think a positive impact uh, on the people being Big Brothers and Big Sisters it makes perfect sense to me that he wants to be a part of the growth of that. He has influence on these organizations just because of his, his intelligence and his thoughtfulness and his analytical ability without having to be you know, the biggest personality in the room. You know, he's very, very quiet, very, very understated. He's an unbelievable uh, leader in that respect, and he influences these organizations. He's influencing Big Brothers Big Sisters. He's started Horizons, had a huge influence on them. He keeps on top of what's going on constantly in business, in nonprofits, in research. Um, so there's never a dull moment. There's never um, thinking, oh, we've done it all. There's always a new goal. There's always a new way of doing things. Obviously, there's a lot of people in the city who have devoted some of their resources to helping disadvantaged youth, but I can't think of anybody uh, who has the same sort of commitment and passion and willing to put in the time and the thinking and the effort. Michael, congratulations uh, to you and Barbara and your kids. Uh, this is all a family effort. You've inspired me for years in terms of what you've done with Horizons. I know you richly deserve this, uh, probably more than anybody I know. So congratulations to you and your family. You have changed thousands of lives of young homeless children and families. That is amazing. On behalf of everyone here at Horizons, our staff, our board, but most of all from our children, we thank you so much. Congratulations, Mike, on receiving the Jimbo Award this year. I just want to say uh, thanks for teaching so many people in Boston uh, how to give back to the community. Michael, congratulations. This is a very deserving award. You've done incredible things for our community for the past 30 years. Boston's a better place uh, for having you involved, so thank you for everything you've done. On behalf of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Massachusetts Bay, it's my honor to present the fourth annual James J. Pilato Award to Michael Eisenson. Congratulations, Michael.